They are. I don't think there's any mistaking who this group is. Um, we don't make excuses. We come out, we fight. Whoever steps on that floor is going to play hard. They're going to defend. They're going to play for each other. And they're going to do it with a sense of joy and love for the game and their teammates. It seems like every game we have a new Paolo number to, to go to tonight. It's a triple-double, did it in a fashion at an age that only a few players in NBA history have done it. And what does it continue to say about, about him and his growth? He's special. He's beyond special. And I don't, I've seen a lot of special players in this league. He's one of them. He's, he's not even scratched the surface of what he's capable of doing. Um, but more importantly is the fact that he's doing it the right way and leading his team to try to find ways to win. And we've said that from the beginning. He's going to find a way to help this team win. Um, and that is just the big time part about him and a big time part about this entire group. Jalen Suggs had, had a career high in threes for the second straight night, career high mm -hmm. points. Uh, the way that you've seen him work to improve on his shooting and, and the growth you've seen out of Jalen? He's just persistent. He's, he stays in the gym. He stays working. He, he's confident in what he's able to do, and he's not afraid of the moment. He's not afraid to step in and take the big shot. Make or miss, he's going to step in and do it. And that's, that's a testament to him, the, t the work that the coaches have put in with him. I mean, our coaches, our players, they work their tails off every single day. And we felt like this in Sacramento, the same battle, the same fight. And now you come away on the other end of it, which to me shows growth for a group of young men that are learning how to win consistently in this league. You talk about challenges <clears throat> Consider this one when you factor in the opponent, the end of a West Coast trip, the injuries, the last second illnesses, just how tough of a challenge was that for your group tonight? Uh, you know, I'd like you to say keep going on what, <laughs> what the reasons could be. Everybody has a reason, everybody could have an excuse, but again, this group does not make excuses. It's easy to say, you know, we're on the end, we want to go home, we were on a back to back, we're tired, we have guys sick. It's easy to make excuses, but one thing that we will not do as a group and as a unit and as an organization is make excuses for what we're going to do. We're going to play hard, we're going to play together, play the right way, and do it with a sense of joy for each other. Thank you. How much of a spark was Cole's three to get you to that lead that really built the momentum for the team to finish out this game? That's big time. I mean, Cole sitting out last game and then being able to step in tonight and do what he was able to do uh, for the guys. He didn't shy away from it. He won't shy away from it. But I think it was a big momentum swing for us, for him to take that shot. And you see our bench, those guys that aren't playing or, you know, excited as we could be. And I, I think that's great for this group. Jalen's defense on Jamal late there. Obviously, he has the career night offensively, but still is the same elite defender that we've seen all season for him. I mean, shutting him down on those last couple possessions, how impressed were you by that, going against a guard like that and Jamal Murray? The, the thing about Jalen is that's who he is. That's not even, he hasn't even, I say the same thing about Paolo, but Jalen hasn't scratched the surface of how great he can be as a defender. Like, that's his number one piece of a calling card. He can, he's a top five defender in my opinion when he locks all the way in and so for him to do that it's you know you're great great to see it but it's also what we know he can do on a consistent basis when you see him like jawing and talking with fans courtside I mean it's a game in early January on the road on the end of a, a long road trip for you guys does that send the message that you want to see from the buy-in for this group of guys this group are going to fight for each other every single night. They're going to play for each other every single night. And the way in which they get going by talking to each other, to whoever needs to is saying something to them, that's who this group is. They believe in each other. They believe in what we're doing and how we're growing and getting better every single game. And they have to know that this is what our calling card is. This is who we have to be on a consistent basis. Man, we got some dogs, some real dogs, some raw dogs. Um, yeah, nah, we fought, and it was just, it was a great win. This is really, really a team effort. I'm even looking at the box score here. Man, everybody contributed who played, every single person. That was, that was a dope win. You know, you've seen Paolo score 43 the other night, 30 point triple double tonight. You know, how much does he continue to grow and impress you as a team? Um, I mean, Paolo is what you would call a perennial superstar, and I knew that. I think he's just waking everyone else up now. I think that's what it is. And just it's just it, – I'm, I'm in such a dope position to be able to just see him develop and just see him showcase to the world how talented he is and how he can affect the game in so many different ways. And, um, you know, he didn't let us 
uh, throw water on him after the game today because he just got his hair did. And so he's like, I'm going to let you rock. We, we was like, we going to let you rock tonight. But shout out to P5. You know, for, you know how much work Jalen's put in, you know, for him to set a new career high after three pointers made for the second day in a row, <laughs> career high in points overall. Uh, That's his career high in points? Yeah. Shout out to Jay, man. Shoot, seven threes is very tough. That's very, very tough. After six threes. So that's 13 threes in two games. That's real nice, man. Shout out to Jay. <laughs> he puts a lot of work in, man. He, and he plays so hard. You just you can't help but root for a kid. I know how hungry you are. You just <laughs> take shots down the stretch. Yeah. How do you feel? See what's going on. The team coming out with Yeah, big dog got to eat. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, struggled a little bit in the first half. Had to get my rhythm back. You know, team trusted me. And um, I was able to get going and help us get this dub. Well, I mean, just how impressive. How much does Jamal's work work ethic with you guys on a daily basis? How much does that translate? Like his toughness as a person translate to you guys as a team? Man, Moles is just um a great human being and a, a great basketball coach. And it's it's dope that you know to be around him because you realize, shoot, he's learning too. This is his first head coaching job. And um, but it's just he's just such a great human being and, and really understands the game. And it's uh, it's dope to be around him and just, you know, big shout out to most. Thank you, Paul. Jalen, there were probably a lot of people who looked at the injury report tonight, uh, the opponent in the West Coast trip and counting you guys out for you guys to come out with the win tonight. With those circumstances, just what does it say about your group? Um, I think it speaks volume on the character that we have on this team. Um, not only next man up, but the confidence, the trust and belief in each other. Um, we, we weren't walking out there like we're going to lose this. We weren't walking out there like, oh, let's just get it over with and go back home. We wanted to go win the game. And, um, you know, we came out, executed the game plan. We played together. Um, everybody stepped up and made big plays. And, um, again, I think it just speaks to the volume uh, of character um, and people that we have on our roster and in the coaching staff. Uh, they gave us tremendous amount of confidence, tremendous amount of support. They put us in positions to succeed. And, and we did that. So, yeah, a lot of credit goes to all the boys tonight. Second straight night, <coughs> hit a career high in threes, a new one with seven tonight, new high, career high in points. Just, you know, how much of that is a tribute to the work you put in with coaches and, and on your own to, to kind of make that kind of development? Um, <laughs> I mean, I struggle a lot with, with mental health, and it's been a, it's been a battle I've, I've constantly been working at day after day. and. Um, you know, I had a little dip for a second, for a couple of days, you know, to be honest, with fatigue and um, with the demand of the season and expectations and continually trying to get better and all that. Um, so, I mean, I think a lot of it goes just to the, the work I've done spiritually and mentally, um, you know, and a lot of credit goes to my family, um, you know, for always keeping me, um, you know, supported and loved no matter how the game goes, whether I'm have a great game or one of those Phoenix and, and Golden State games where, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a struggle night. Um, but, yeah, I've done a lot of work to, to really improve my mental health. And um, I think I'd be wrong, you know, to not give a lot of credit, um, you know, to Jesus Christ and the work I've done with him and, um, and to just the work I've done mentally. And, you know, just to all the people struggling out there with that, um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And, uh, you know, it's not always as dire as it seems in the moment. And um, with continued work and progress, um, you know, you'll make it out and uh, you'll look back at it short stint in time that uh, actually helped you grow. So I think a lot of it is a testament to that. You're playing alongside Paolo. He gives you guys 43 the other night, a 30-point triple-double tonight. Just just how much growth do you continue to see out of him? Killer. He is a killer. Uh, I tell him in every game, man, every day, go to work, do you, um, and, and naturally, he's just a, not only is he a great basketball player, he's a great dude, man, and, um, and he wants to get others involved and he wants to win, and um, yeah, just the, the growth that he's made year one now, this year, chopping me, he's an all-star. I mean, I don't think there's if, ands, or buts about it. He should be in Indiana. Uh, he deserves that, and uh, yeah, we're going to continue to, you know, improve around him and, uh, you know, continue to get good wins like this. Jalen, how much of the toughness of this team stems from what Jamal's been building these last three years and just kind of what he's been preaching to you guys day in, day out? Oh, a lot of it. Moe's Mo is, is like a father figure to me. And, uh, you know, we we argue, we go back and forth, uh, we laugh, we yell. Uh, we have moments, man. And, um, you know, just when you have somebody that's a great person like that who's leading you, not only uh, on the court but off the court and helping us grow, 
you know, in our character, um, you know, as people, as human beings, um, you know, you want to work and do your best for him, you know, to help him succeed. And, I mean, the, the job that he's done, you know, over his three years, you know, since I've been here, you know, I had the pleasure of, you know, kind of starting this journey with him here in Orlando. Um, you know, it's been a beauty uh, to be along with him. So, yeah, a lot of credit goes to him. Cutting you guys out, you didn't come out with the win tonight. What does it say about your group? Says everything. Says a lot, man. Uh, you know, I think just the power of just positive energy and um, just pushing, you know, pushing each other. You know, we was in the locker room before the game. You know, coach came in there and gave us a great talk, you know, told us we was going to have a bunch of guys out. And we just told each other, we all we got, you know, like we going to. We're going to live with the result, whatever it is, but we're not just going to roll over and let these guys blow us out. Um, and we just kept saying that throughout the game, like keep within striking distance, keep within striking distance, you know, give ourselves a chance at the end of the game. And we made a run in the second half, and once we made the run, we, we came together and we knew that we had a chance. So. I know how much you prefer to talk about stat lines after a win rather than, you know, at 43 points the other night to do it. 30-point triple-double against the defending champs. Just how much were you trying to, you know, Put the team on your back and Yeah, I was really just trying to like focus on making the, the right play for the team the whole game. I think um, obviously coming off the last game, uh, I knew that there was going to be a lot of attention, uh, especially with the guys we had out. So like they started the game blitzing, you know, tried to get guys involved early and then just let the game come to me. I thought I missed a lot of easy shots, too. Um, you know, I ended up with 32, which is great. Um, but, you know, I feel like I could have played better on that end. But I was just like, I wasn't even worried about it. I was worried about doing whatever, whatever we could to to stay in the game and claw, claw back into the into the lead. And um, we just kept chipping away. Like guys were making timely plays. We started to get stops. Um, we just started to feed off each other and, and build momentum. And uh, we pulled it out. Yeah, man, I'm not surprised. Like, I tell him all the time, like, bro, you Jalen Suggs. Like, don't ever forget that. Like, you the man. You know what I'm saying? Um, let that joint fly. Like, he works on it. He's been working on it all summer relentlessly. And, um, you know, he has a great shot. And we tell him to let it fly. And, you know, he steps into it with confidence. And, you know, that's all we can ask. And he's been shooting the, sh shooting the uh, mess out the ball this year. And um, but just been doing a great job on both ends as well. He got some big time stops on Murray too, like you know. So in the midst of him setting career highs, he's also guarding the team's best perimeter player, which is invaluable um, to have a guy who can do both. What was the difference for you guys uh, in the third quarter? Well, you were down 18, and uh, you know you were able to come within a couple points. You know, at the start of the fourth quarter. Yeah. The uh, like I said, you know when they. When they uh, went up 18 early in the third, we called a timeout. And uh, I came in the huddle and just told them, told guys, like, look, like, we're fine. Like, as long as we keep this in, within striking distance, 10, 8, 10 points, by the fourth quarter, we're going to have a chance and we're going to get back in this game. So I think just having that mentality as a team kind of kept us in the game. And, you know, guys weren't really looking at the score. We were just trying to get stops and convert on the other end one time, one, one possession at a time. And, uh, it, you know, you end up walking, you know, walking them down when you just focus on getting stops and um, getting a good shot on offense.